I'm going to be unboxing the Logitech G29 today. This is all. This is for PlayStation 4 and PC. You can get the PC and Xbox version, Xbox One version, which is the G920 or something like that. But I prefer the look of this one, and it's pretty much the same. The the both the same, but the look of this one is miles better, and you got some lights on the uh, steering wheel and shit. But the shifters are same, like the hand shifter, and you got the foot pedals are the same as well. I'll go ahead and unbox this in a second for you. Hi right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox this now. As you can see, it's massive. That's why I'm going freehand, and my brother's gonna come and help me to open this package. Do the do, he's ten, so hopefully he doesn't cut his fingers off. <laughs> come on, why is this shoddy work? Disgusting. There you go. He's done it. I'm gonna pull him on. Okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? Look how big the box is for how big the package is. And yeah. So I didn't buy this brand new, I bought it like new, so it's almost the same. But it's hundred pounds off. <laughs> Literally hundred pounds off the fucking price. So why not? So I got it for about ninety something quid. And normally they go for 200 brand new right now. But when it first came out, it was about 300 pounds. So it's a good deal. And I got uh, Amazon discount as well. So that's okay as well. I got another 10% off, I think. So yeah, I'm going to take this out and have a look at it. Oh, it doesn't look like it's even been opened. I don't know. It's still got this shit on. Or it might have been, I don't know. But yeah, so we've got the G29 driving force racing wheel for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3 and PC. It's a Logitech, by the way. So Logitech thingy, we've got some security code. That's what it looks like. It looks beautiful, guys. So as you can see, you got the... you got like a shifter there to turn stuff around. That's cool. I like that. Uh, plus, minus button. These are the PlayStation buttons. Option, share, back button or enter. L2, L3, blah, blah, blah. PC, you can map, map these to anything you like. X square triangle circle you got the this is the lights I was on about so this is good for formula one any game really it really helps out and the force feedback on this is the best ever apparently they've made yet this is uh, from reviews I've already seen online so yeah uh, this is normal d-pad and then this is made out of leather I'll show you that and these are the pedals this one doesn't come with the shifters but you can get the shifters it's 80 quid extra I don't see a point in it because I'm going to be driving automatic on the games anyway most of the time. But there, yeah, he has a clutch pedal anyway if you do want to go thingy. Because you don't need the shift dial, you could just go with that. Use the pa uh, sh paddles to shift up and down. Okay, I'm going to try open this. I think it's solid tape, so yeah, I'm going to have to cut the solid tape open, guys. Oh, let's have a look at the back first. Okay, we've got dual motor force feedback, realistically simulates the racing experience with smooth, quiet, healing, cooling. Uh, this actually doesn't have any, he has no cooling inside, so it's pretty cool. Like normal steering wheels have some sort of cooling inside, because it, it's uh, the powerful motors and they plugged in with the mains and stuff, so they do get quite hot. So this one, I'm going to see how it does, how it does. I've heard already that it does alright with no cooling at all, which is quite mad, but yeah. It's a pretty cool system. They've do, they've really done a lot of work on this. So yeah, on wheel game controls, twenty four point selection dial, RPM shift indicator LEDs. There the lights we on about. Non linear brake pedal. So what this is? Okay, so normal brake pedals. Basically, the normal brake pedals that every other car car wheel people make, like even on the old Logitech ones they had, and the Thrustmasters and stuff like that. Uh, when you brake, the more you press it, the more it breaks, pretty much. But in a straight line like that, it correlates to that, so it's not realistic. In realistic terms, it goes in real brakes. This is more. This is more close to real brakes. It's like a curve, so it go like that. It go like that, and then like that. So it goes like a wave, basically. So the more pressure you press, it'll only get to a certain point and then you have to press a bit harder and then it does it. And yeah, you, it's a lot better feeling as well. It feels a lot better. It's got like a rubber stop at the bottom. So that's how it does that. Uh, let's have a look there. 
okay real leather and metal components yeah so the flappy paddles are metal uh, steel if i believe and this is all rubber so it's very comfortable apparently so we'll see that and secure mounting you can it's got clamp at the bottom you simply just twist it and stuff and do it like that so yeah let's go ahead and open this now and get done with this okay guys so as you can see the manual's been a bit fucked up because of the spin used before but it's not in bad shape okay so this is the power power plug it's a regular uh what do you call it kettle cable i think like the playstation cables so yeah this is a uk one three pin just take that out there's the adapter i think this does 24 volts at 2 amps 1.5 amps i mean something like that so it's, it's pretty decent and this is very heavy by the way i couldn't lift it on my own well i could but it was hurting my arm so it's not good that so this tells you how to put it together so what you're gonna do is connect them cables from the pedals into that and then the other one is the power cable into the power and then you sort it and then there's a mode there that you can change at the back from ps3 to ps4 different software by the way you plug it into your usb or you can use i mean this is how you use the clamp part so you twist them things out you press on them to make it pop up and then you twist them and then you clamp it onto your table or whatever and then you put it back down so it doesn't get in the way of you driving and you don't even notice it. it's pretty cool and the back is empty so that's pretty good and uh, i'm gonna pull up driving wheel fucking hell that's heavy i can't do it one handed so i'm gonna i'm gonna pause the video for a second okay guys there's the wheel i'm gonna take it out since i'm gonna be playing on it oh my god this is fucking nice it actually looks brand new there's literally no scratches on it no scratches no scuffs no nothing I still got the protective cover on it so maybe he was telling the truth oh they feel all right got some nice rotation there logitech uh, i'm going to take this out in a second all right guys let me take this off now do the unboxing bam look how clean that is yeah i think this was pretty i don't think they even used this maybe they did a review for it that's about it like i'm doing now but I'm keeping this, so yeah. Oh, there's the PS3, PS4 control thing where you switch between them. I've got it set to PS4 at the moment, so I'll leave it at that. Now, these buttons feel okay. These buttons feel like the normal ones. These are quite okay as well. Yeah, the buttons all feel okay. And this one, you turn, like I said, choose between settings and stuff. Then you got that button there. Yeah, so the wheels are very comfy, very comfy, guys. You got this uh, blue ribbon here. To know where the top is and stuff is really nice. So I'm at full lock right now because I turned it too much. So yeah, it goes. Can you hear it? Very nice. So there's the clamp, the top of it. So what you do is. Oh wait. There you go. Simple as that. Okay. And then the back of that reminds me of like a Ford Mustang or something. Look at that, guys. Pretty cool, that, isn't it? And then you got these paddles. Look inside there. Very nice, aren't they? It's good build quality. I like it. Feels like it's going to last. You got all the wiring there. You got a cool cabling system so it doesn't get messy at any times. You got the USB cable there. And then you plug in your, um, what do you call it, pedals there. And then your power's there. Even labeled out there. So that's pretty cool. And there's your joystick or whatever the fuck it's called. And you can actually clamp it down further on. Like onto like a stand or something. I've seen loads of these stands. But they're quite expensive. If you're going for a full rig, then go for it. I'm gonna get the pedals out now so you can have a look at them. Alright guys, these are the pedals. As you can see you got a nice uh, heel toe pit so you can put your feet there. Alright, it's plastic. This whole build is plastic, which is alright. This is all steel again. Or titanium steel, something like that. You got the screws there. It's actually two two piece. You got this plastic underneath which keeps it very hard. And it's actually very soft, you can play with this with your socks. That's pretty cool. I've seen a lot of gamers do that on this this model if, and yeah the wiring's there as you can see cool connection but i've never seen that before right so you got the accelerator pedal very easy to press down they actually spring loaded these ones are huh? it's not hydraulic so that's okay uh, okay now brakes are very harder fucking hell but when you're in game you it's like a normal brake where you have to if you press it too hard you instantly stop like hard harsh shop harsh stop so that's how it is so this one is 
very tight. You have you only press a tiny bit and it'll break properly. So you have to get used to that. You have to learn that stuff. And uh, it looks like there's a screw missing there. Oh no, no, there isn't. It's just my lighting. Look, can you see my lighting? I thought it was, it's going full silver. That's why. Okay, so this is your clutch pedal, which I'm not going to be using because I don't have the shifters. Actually, I could use it, but I don't want to use it because I'm going to be using automatic anyway. And this is a bit harder than the accelerator, but weaker than this, so that's okay as well. Alright guys, let me show you the bottom. Oops. Okay. So, we got this cool thing here to make it like, uh, what do you call it? It makes it more sturdy and saves them on material and also makes it lighter because it's empty. And then you got this carpet stop here, as you can see. So how you get this open is literally pull it open like this. Well, it's supposed to be like that. Oh, I might have to place it down, guys. It's hard to do this stuff for one-handed, by the way, guys. I bet hold up. Okay, guys. So as you can see, you got these spikes here. What you do is just press this down or up, something like that. Yeah, you press it up, and now that will grip onto your copy. And because I'm going to be playing on copy anyway, so this is very good for me. So it'll grip onto the copy, so when you push down on the pedal, the thing won't move at all, so that's okay. Very good. And then when you want to put it back in, just push it down back like that. Simple as that. And then you got these rubber stops here. It's very, very good uh, build quality. I like it. And you got these uh, mounts here if you want to use them as well. So that's okay as well. And yeah. I'll have a look while it's in the box. I don't think there's much else. Overall, I like this. And... Uh, I'll give you a video of me playing Euro Truck Simulator on it and maybe other games and I'll give you my overview or review soon but overall I like it so far and from the reviews I've heard it's very good which is what brought me to buy it anyway and there you go you got like a manual there play seat as you can see you can get custom seats and stuff and you got some sort of uh, warranty or something I don't know and that's about it in the box Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you, my brother Abidul, for opening one box for me or one cellar tape. And thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.